thank you guys for all the support. We got a fifth bike coming to the channel. We're working on it. It'll be here very soon. I'll give you some hints at the end of the video. But I ain't thought about the bike. It's about something else. Also, this video is sponsored by NBT Clothing. What's up guys, it's your boy Fastlane D and today is one of my favorite days. It's delivery day. I don't want to show you everything, but we got the cashier's check right here, as you can see. I don't want to give it away yet, but it's about time we did this. I've been tired of renting these. Y'all have been clowning me down in the comments. And I probably could've went with the cheaper route, but I like to live by the motto, buy once, cry once. So I fully customized this. I didn't hold anything back, kinda. And today, we're picking it up. Hey, 63 ain't that bad for 21 gallons. Yes, it's coming down a little bit. Shout out to my truck owners that uh, understand this struggle. Favorite road food, fun fact, this was my first job right here, Chick-fil-A, baby. Comment below what your favorite road food place is to stop on a trip. But we've got about three and a half hours to our destination. Let's get this little road trip going, baby. Huge shout out to MBT Clothing for sponsoring today's video. I've got the license to ride pant right here. But I want to talk about the new pant that just came out, the straight leg stalwart jean right here. It's got CE rated armor in the hips and in the knees. It's also got airman lining, so if you go sliding down the road, it'll protect you from road rash a lot better than a regular pair of jeans. It's also made out of stretchy material, so woo you can drop it low and you're good to go. Also love rocking their armored hoodie. They got C rated armor in the elbow and in the shoulder joint, as well as it's super soft material in the middle. It's got a belt loop in the back so it doesn't come flying up as you go down the road. It's got the zippers on the side, like this thing is fire. We've also got an FLG NBT collab coming at you very soon. <laughs> Let's go, bang. B. Check out mbtclothing.com. Use the code FASTLANE GAME to save yourself 15% on a nice hoodie and get yourself some nice straight leg pants and ride safe out there this season. So we just signed all the paperwork off over here, guys, and uh, <laughs> it's official. Let's go. Uh, oh, man. It's money, money, money. <laughs> Always leaving, bro. So. I know you gotta spend money to make money. You gotta invest in yourself. So we're gonna go across the street and go check out the trailer. If you guys haven't figured it out yet, we're buying a new trailer today. As you can see from the lot, they got a blue one and some other ones over here. Not get a bright green one. That one looks nice, but it's too big. Heck no. Pretty sure this is my baby right here. Sheesh, let's go, my boys. Here it is. Could have bought another bike with this money, but tired of you guys calling me and this is something I've needed with especially with how much traveling I'm doing so I'm excited to introduce you guys to the brand new 2024 23 24 7 by 16 blacked out trailer but we got some surprises for inside oh they got it all done yeah let's go so as you can see we got all the flooring done in here we got the walls done as well as oh we didn't do the ceiling but we did do, as you can see, we got the cabinets up top here as well. Oh yeah. You'll store some stuff in there, which would be really nice. Love the white walls, just the light kind of bounces off. Man, and we got the Vinos, of course. And then most importantly, when we're loading at night. So that, that's gonna work when plugged up to your Oh yeah, you're right, okay. I was like, wait a sec. So you can see we got these three on the top here as well for when we're loading up at night. And we got the spoiler. I want the spoiler on here. It just adds a little bit more of an aggressive kind of look to it. So love the all black stealth look though. I don't think I bought the right ball size for uh, the trailer. So I'm gonna have to do that first, but what do y'all think? Y'all like it, not like it? We didn't put any D-rings or anything here on the floor because we're gonna put the pit bulls in here. We should be able to fit at least five bikes. One in the V here and then one, two, three, four in the back. So we should fit five because we got another bike coming. I'll touch on that once uh, the pit bulls get here because I actually bought the pit bull for this bike. I'll give you all some hints later on in the video. So stay tuned. Just came out of Harbor Freight. We got the hitch here. Two and a half inches what we needed. Upgrading to the big boys now. Let's go. Sometimes it'll sit on the ball like that. Yeah. It won't push. Okay. Uh, okay. Just want to make sure. Well. <laughs>
that are kind of hooked up here. But I want to look at real quick while he's going to grab the metal file. So I'll show you what's wrong here in a sec. All right, so I want to turn on the lights on. I want to see the lights on the trailer because all this stuff I feel like it looks cool as you're going down the road. Just when the trailer is very well lit up. So we got there, there. I want clear LEDs all around, clearly as you can see. Let's get these lights on in here. So let's check out these. Whoo! These are gonna look sweet at night. And maybe I'll do a clip at night so you can see all this better. Let's let this ambulance go by. But those lights look good. And then we probably will need more lighting in here. I don't think this is not enough. Not at all. I'm gonna want like one, two, probably a couple more, honestly, just to really brighten this up. Cause at night, I know that's not gonna do enough. Ah, oh, it looks so sick. That is crazy to see. Holy cow, that's so nice. Boom. See, at night, yeah, no, that is not bright at all. You are at to fix this. If you have any suggestions for me, please comment below. Y'all know I'm usually like a night owl, so I, like, I need this to be like, I can vlog in here and y'all can see me perfectly fine. You see all the bikes. I almost want to look like a showroom when you're in here. Right now, the dilemma is this does not go down into here because, as you can see, the little notch does not allow I push down on it to go in, so we're gonna try and file that down real quick. You can't tell me it doesn't look sick. So I pull it to events now. We have the trailer as well, put FLG on the side. I'm like low key getting excited just like seeing this slowly all come together. I've wanted a trailer for a really long time. I've been talking about this, and I remember when I rented the first trailer, you guys are giving me hell. I've rented for like two years now, two plus years on when I do all the traveling. So finally have something of my own is really cool. I love the look of that spoiler up top. That looks so good. It gives it like an, a mean, aggressive profile, man. We got Elijah working over here, man. <laughs> Appreciate it. So the only thing we need to get replaced is this hook right here because obviously you see it's a bed. And then we're gonna get more LEDs for the interior as well. So I'm excited for that and we'll wire those in. So we're gonna sign some paperwork here and then I got my temp tag. Officially putting the temp tag on. Yes sir. We are uh, gonna be official and legal at least for now. Man, look at that view. That is sick. I love that. Leveling up, boys. Leveling up. There ain't nothing better than a come up. Hey, that's facts. Little U-Haul around to this. Definitely a big come up, man. How much one of those go for? Right there. Yeah. Uh, that one's probably gonna run, yeah, about 50. <laughs> what? 50K? Yeah. 50K for a trailer? I was thinking like 30K. Nah, man. I'm building a $60,000 concession right now. What? We sold a hundred and forty-five thousand dollar trailer to a hospital out in South Dakota. <laughs> a hundred and forty-five K for a trailer. You have your minor. It doesn't drive itself, you got none of that stuff. You gotta pull it still, man. 145k. Yep. I do man. stackers. Yeah. You know where you can put two cars in? Yeah, yeah, I've seen those. About 100, 120,000. Holy it's got cow. Your lifts and all in it. See, just when you think you're doing something, you just learn there's levels to <laughs> life, man. Absolutely. There really are. Anything, car, anything, man. Bikes. All that stuff, that's wild. Four hours later, we made it back to Florida. I'm exhausted, it's one in the morning, but I wanna show you guys a quick walk around of the trailer with all the lights on, cause it looks sick, but it could be a little bit better. So let me show y'all what we're starting off with here, which I think all the LEDs on it look cool to start. As you can see, we got a little bit of sag in the rear. The Tundra did handle it, towing, no problem. Like, you couldn't even feel that it's back there. But the gas mileage is awful. Like, I think I was getting like eight, like eight to nine. I was cruising like 65, maybe 70 a little bit, because I started to saw that ETA start to go higher and higher. And I was like, ah, right, we got to pick this up. But with no weight in the rear, you can kind of see it sagging just a little bit. Once we load the bike or the trailer with five bikes, it might be sagging a lot more which this is the trd pro which is their top of the line off-road model so this is not meant for towing at all so it's kind of my fault that i bought this truck i just really like buying top of the line items m1k r1m h2 i guess i didn't go crazy on but ducati sp2 but i digress anyways maybe we'll get a diesel in the future for better gas mileage i think it will depend on how much i travel this year if i'm traveling a lot and the gas mileage is really just eating up a lot of funds then I'll probably have to make the switch to a diesel, but I'm like, really, do I really need to buy a diesel for trailering bikes maybe like 10, 15 times a year? I don't know. If you're a diesel owner, comment below, let me know. 
Is it worth it? Do you like having a diesel as a daily? What are the pros and cons, etc., etc. All right, but anyways, let me show you all the lighting that we're working with here. Look at the LEDs from the rear, the three up top. That looks sick at night. And then we go to unload. Ugh, pull this down. Oh, that door's a lot heavier than I thought. There we go. All right, but yeah, so we got that. I think that looks pretty freaking sick. Now, it could be a lot brighter. This could do, like I could make do with this in filming the bikes, but I really want it to look like a showroom when we're in here. So when I pull up, you look at it and really appreciate the bikes in all their glory. I know this isn't like a sexy purchase, or something that's super exciting or innovative on the channel like we normally do with the bikes, but this is gonna just give me so much flexibility to bring the bikes to you guys in your area, in your city, and not just bring one, two, like I can bring all the bikes now. Even the fifth bike we might have coming. If some things fall into place, hopefully they do. We can make it work. The money that I spent on this was money I was saving up to put towards the next bike, but we had to make an adult purchase. And some things, like I said, some opportunities are kind of falling in line to where it made sense. And once you guys see the new bike, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. I just want to remind you guys and inspire you guys to take risks, man. Like, take chances. Obviously calculated risk, but it's always exciting to level up, but it's always a little bit humbling because your bank account <laughs> definitely notices it and feels it a little bit, but now I'm excited to get back to work and it almost like rejuvenates me and gives me that energy to keep grinding, keep pushing, keep working, man. Rick Ross always says, man, scare money don't make no money. So gotta take that leap of faith, man, and put in the work. You can't just take a leap of faith and not be willing to put in the work. You gotta do it. Then the work's gotta also follow up with it. Look at this beautiful R8 out here, man. Carbon hood. You see the carbon barrel on the wheels as well. With all the little green accents. Kermit riding shotgun up there too. <laughs> like I said, there's levels to this toy game. It's wild when you get to cars that can keep up with the bikes. Don't mind my Chipotle here, but just got done at the gym. Look at all the titanium. Travis did all that, right? All the titanium and everything. Y'all know Travis. Y'all love the videos of Travis, man. They always do good. But yeah, all of the titanium down in there. They just put this bumper on. I should have took this clip before, but God, that is sick, man. One day, fast lane getting mark my words. The supercar is definitely something I would love to add in the garage. We'll get there though. Like I said, there's levels to this. Look at all the carbon. I don't know if you guys can see that. All through there, all down through the door sill. With the palm tree in the background, that's just such a vibe <laughs> in itself right there, man. Just listen to those turbos, man. That sounds freaking mental. <laughs> God. <laughs> now we're talking. One day if I ever stop riding, this is definitely uh, the next move we're gonna make. God, that sounds so good. First day at Texas 2K is today. We were supposed to go, but the weather looks really sh <laughs> And that's the reason why I got the trailer so quick and rushed it to get here and got the pit bulls and everything here, but. <laughs> yes, sir. One day, boys. One day, mark my words. This H2 has seen better days, man. Oh, wow. Look at all that oil or coolant or whatever it is. Probably oil. We got all the stuff laid out here. Like I said, huge shout out to Travis for helping me put all this stuff in, man. Y'all know where to find them. You got an H2, you definitely got to bring it over here. But yeah, we're going to lay this out and kind of figure out how we want to do this. We got the first plate measured. The thing that I also want to be able to do is in case I do end up stretching a bike, in the future, I want to be able to put the stretch bike in the trailer and it not be an issue. So obviously, we got to kind of account for that. I don't know if I ever would stretch a bike, but like I said, just in case we want to be equipped, which is why I got the this long 16-inch trailer. Thankfully, Travis has a stretch bike right over here that we can uh, kind of go off of, which would be really nice. So we got all four, I guess five of the systems installed. Now, the only mistake that we made, we didn't have any bikes with me the first time we did it. So we were measuring from the axle down 
and uh, we didn't realize that it actually goes back at this angle so we thought this part would be up here so what we ended up having to do was remove this one from right here you can see the holes right here but I want to get some screws with some little smooth caps that go over the top here so you won't even notice this um, I'll screw it in cap over and it'll be like it's not even there uh, you'll see up front we got some room the Ducati is surprisingly the longest wheelbase bike that I have so that'll be fine all the bikes to fit up there but I do end up stretching a bike what I'll do is I'll buy another one of these plates right here so I'll buy one of these probably just set it back here so that it can fit up front and then we can still wiggle the handlebars so there's no uh doesn't touch any bikes obviously and uh we'll be good to go so that's if i stretch your bike who knows if i will maybe i will maybe i won't but yeah we got plenty of room in the back here as you can see the r1 actually has the shortest wheelbase out of all the bikes but yeah i think it looks sick i'm happy with how it turned out huge shout out to pitbull for sending these out, man. These TRS systems, if you have a trailer, this is the only way to do it. It's the quickest and most secure way to mount your bike, and the suspension is not under any sort of pressure or stress or anything. So you won't blow your fork seals. I've actually blown fork seals, traveling with bikes, candy dancers, all that good stuff. It puts too much just pressure on the suspension. Obviously, it's not good for the bike, especially with these Olean's electronic suspension that I have on most of my bikes here, so. You shout out to Travis, man. The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> the H2 wizard, as y'all can see, he's got all the H2s in here, so. If you have an H2 and you're not sending it to Travis, uh, you're doing it wrong, man, you're doing it wrong. And we got this white one out here with the forged carbon. That looks sick. That is beautiful. As well as a clear clutch cover. Guys, I think I might end up doing the forged on my H2. I know I really don't want to spend the money, but it looks, it looks good. So if you're interested in buying my tool carbon forge off of my H2, shoot me an email. I'll throw my email up on the screen. Shoot me an email and uh, let's talk. As you can see, it's got a backup camera, which is pretty cool because there's no mirrors like I do. He's got the wings on there. 37,818 miles. I don't know if you guys can see that, hopefully the reflection. Yeah, 37,818 miles. That is wild. Stage three, MH301, 302, something like that. Sheesh. If that's not a testament to Travis's stage three package, I don't know what it is. 30K miles, no it's, issues. He's had it on there for a couple years now, too. Fast forward to a couple days later, we've got all of the girls loaded up. This is honestly like surreal to see. We got the M1K, the H2, we got the Ducati, and then the R1M. Wow. It's kind of mind boggling and a little stressful to see all the bikes <laughs> all in one place. And as always, this wouldn't be possible without y'all's support, man. I really do appreciate it. It's been a really long, long journey. It's been a grind. And the crazy part is, I feel like I'm just getting started. But for those of you that made it all the way to the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a hint about the fifth bike right here. <laughs> y'all see it, baby. Let's go, the CRF. 125, what do y'all think, man? I think she fits in with the fleet perfectly, right? Perfectly. <laughs> I'm just kidding, huge shout out to Blondie, man. She's gonna let me borrow her pit bike for a little bit because she said my wheelies needed some work. I, no, I said Nah, that. that's exactly what you said. I said this, shock. Damn, wow, wow. Yeah, no, they definitely do need a little work. I can admit that. I'm definitely chasing them, and she says I, mean, I need I to go a lot too, higher. So we are. Right. We in the same boat. We're <sighs> a little higher. Wow. <laughs> Damn, exposed right there. But yeah, so we're gonna uh, practice on this bike, which should be a lot of fun. I don't know how long I'm gonna have it, but. You gonna show them the clip? Uh, that'll probably get demonetized if I show them the clip. So I, I, that's definitely not showing you the clip. The Patreon members, you guys can see the clip. I'll throw that in there for you guys. But on YouTube, uh, yeah, sorry YouTube. This is gonna be a lot of fun, stay tuned. But seriously, the fifth bike that's coming, it should hopefully be here at the beginning of the season if some other stuff we're just waiting on some stuff to work out like i said once you guys see the bike and i explain everything it'll make sense i even got the stand for it as you can see right here so it's it should be coming hopefully i don't want to jinx it all i'm going to say is it's a bike you guys would never expect me to actually own can i get a hint i know she's been asking for a hint this whole time a bike you wouldn't expect for me to own it's still like Abusa. 
I, I don't want to say yes or no, but it's still, it's going to fit in with these bikes. And I've done a video on it before. Brilliant. With the brand, but <laughs> yeah, it's nothing that I've actually mentioned. I'm just going to leave it at that. And I'll throw your comments down below. I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. But you think Aprilia? I'm trying to think. I'm really trying to think right now. I'm going to go with Aprilia. Okay. All right. We'll see. Fire we'll see. We'll see, guys. All right. I don't want to give any more hints. I want to stop talking about giving more hints. But like always, guys, work hard, be consistent, and you can do anything you want in life, as you can see right here. All right. Love y'all. Rooting for y'all. Catch y'all in the next one. We out. Peace.